Hi, my name is Jeremy Thiel, and the folks at Save With Stories My are raising funds for underprivileged children. It will be great if you are a part of this campaign as well. Check out the details in the caption. It's either above or below, depending on whether you are watching this video on Facebook or Instagram. As part of my participation for this campaign, today I will be reading from a short children's story called the Dinosaur Who Lived in My Backyard. It's by BG Hennessy with pictures by Susan Davis. And who doesn't love dinosaurs, right? Let's go. There used to be a dinosaur who lived in my backyard. Sometimes I wish he still lived here. The dinosaur who lived here hatched from an egg that was as big as a basketball. By the time he was five, he was as big as our car. Just one of his dinosaur feet was so big, it wouldn't even have fit in my sandbox. My mother says that if you eat all your vegetables, you'll grow very strong. That must be true, because that's all this dinosaur ate. I bet he ate 100 pounds of vegetables every day. That's a whole lot of lima beans. This dinosaur was so heavy that he would have made my whole neighborhood shake like pudding if he jumped. He weighed as much as 20 pickup trucks. The dinosaur who lived in my backyard was bigger than my school bus, even bigger than my house. He had many other dinosaur friends. Sometimes they played hide and seek. Sometimes they had terrible fights. The dinosaur who used to live here was allowed to sleep outside every night. It's a good thing he didn't need a tent. He was so big, he would have needed a circus tent to keep him covered. Back when my dinosaur lived here, my town was a big swamp. This dinosaur needed a lot of water. If he lived here, we'd have to keep the sprinkler on all the time. My dinosaur had a very long neck, so he could eat the leaves at the top of trees. If he still lived here, I bet he could rescue my kite. That's all I know about the dinosaur who used to live in my backyard. He hasn't been around for a very long time. Sometimes I wish he still lived here. It would be pretty hard to keep a dinosaur happy, but my sister and I are saving all our lima beans just in case. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now, please do give you whatever you can, contribute, help out, do and support the campaign. Save with Stories My is where you check it out. Details in the captions. And uh, until the next update, I'll see you soon.